I love attention to detail as much as the next guy. I mean, when Mantlaws released its demo, it was one of the main praises that I had for the title. We can zoom all the way in to see my people. By the way, everybody... <laughs> everybody has their own stuff and their names. and uh, You can change every villager's names, by the way. We'll get into that in a little bit. So you can zoom all the way out. You can start to see the region that you're in. So I'm assuming this is our region here. And these are some more resources that we can move into. And then here are the larger regions. Yet in June, one of the biggest updates for the game happened. It wasn't a big trailer or a new version, but something a little more under the radar. NDA. And no, I don't mean the thing that you signed to stop the rumours about your uncle. I'm talking about a new animator joined the team. This might not sound that interesting to many people, but we got a really good look at some extra footage and behind the scenes of the upcoming RTS slash city builder. Much like the FBI, I'm taking a deep dive into his socials to try and find something incriminating or, in this case, incredible, taking Manlords to another level. But first, have you guys heard of Raid Shadow? <laughs> Okay, of course you have. Raid Shadow Legends has been an absolute smash hit upon the mobile community and a massive saviour for many YouTubers like me, as they are sponsoring this video. This game gives you so much choice, whether you want to play casually or even a bit more competitively in this very high quality graphic arena, PvP or PvE stuff as well. You have more than 700 unique champions to use with all different strategies where you can play in endless challenges for bosses, dungeons, the Doom Tower and so many more. I mean, just look at this gameplay. Doesn't it look so enticing? You can check out one of the biggest events and boss battles fighting the Hydra. All this October for the Halloween event, download Raid Shadow Legends using the link and copy your in-game player ID. Then venture over to radiard.playroom.com from October the 15th to November the 10th. Enter your player ID and you have the chance to dig up some legendary loot. But even if you're an existing player, you can get involved in this Halloween event at radiard.playroom.com and you'll find a special promo code. So use my link in the description or scan the QR code to get a free starter pack and this cool in-game loot. Just hit my link in the description, scan the QR code and thank you once again to Raid for sponsoring this video. In June, we got a full rework of the animation system, completely unnecessarily adding in details that I don't think are needed in something as simple as a city builder, right? I mean, something from City Skylines is on such a huge scale, and that was praised for its attention to detail, getting down and dirty, seeing everybody having their own lives, doing all their own things, but Manlords is doing it to the detail on their face having complete custom facial expressions and rigs for the AI. They also use motion capture to create a much more realistic feel to how the whole body moves, from arms, legs, hands, feet, to facial expressions all tied together to create more of this living and breathing world. Trust me, I hate that phrase no matter how many times I use it, but I don't think anything else describes Manlords so aptly. Even so, you might be thinking, how can we get more realistic than the attention to detail that was put into the demo that we got last year? But somehow, they've done it. They thought, no, that's not detailed enough, we need more. So this is all well and good, don't get me wrong. It looks nice on paper, but how does this facial animation and mocap enhance the game? Where do these additions really come in? We've seen plenty of combat footage and it's blown me away much like many other people. From archers in volley fire, tactical retreating from units or each of the AI using terrain, hills, forests to their advantage, the bloody and gory combat that we're going to be getting and how the units and AI interact with each other. Shield walls, different formations, moving with waypoints, the RTS portion of this game is a whole new beast to what we've even discovered in the city building section. But this... This is going to enhance it even more, and in a time of terror for Total War, this kind of thing couldn't come at a better time. Expanding this RTS element of Manor Lords to a place that I don't think Total War has touched in 10 years. And in August, we got a look at this full of medieval terror. Imagine every unit on the battlefield being rigged up like this, screaming at you, charging down routing peasants who were forced into the fray by your unwillingness to talk peacefully. Yes, I'm talking to you. You're a terrible human. You have decided to conscript peasants instead of actually training an army, and this is what you get for it. 
complete terrifying facial animations and you can see the sadness on their eyes as they're hacked to death. Whether it's fighting in duels or on the battlefield itself, the AI will interact way more realistically with these new rigs. It is starting to look a little bit like that Shogun 2 Rome 2 kind of everyone pairing off into their own jewels. And whilst for a smaller scale game like Man Lords where RTS isn't the main feature, that isn't as much of an issue as it was in those Total War titles. But I would be interested to see how this is accomplished with more than just two units fighting with each other. Nevertheless, fully revealed are proper death animations, with a close up look at the expression of a man's soul leaving his body as he realizes that he left the venison on the spit roast and then slumps to the floor with an axe wound to the skull. Oh, what's that? You want a montage of all the new finishers in Manlords? Okay, it's not quite like Mortal Kombat, but it's the best thing we've got so far. These are the best executions that you can dish to any man who forgets how to block a sword. Look at these lads, all building, doing their thing. Welcome to the party. Settlement level increased Reichenfurt. Yes. Beautiful, beautiful new development point. So I'm assuming you can level up to have full manners and things. Settlement level. Level one burger, point five. Okay. Next level is a medium village. We need 10 houses and one church. So it looks good in combat, but how do these new facial animations and full mocap actually affect everyday life? Well, the NPCs, as you know, can be tasked to do different jobs, whether it's hunting, farming, building, crafting, so on and so forth. This looked very good and was very well animated within the Manlons demo, but now it's taken to a different level. The NPCs will do hard labour, in this case, as we can see, dragging a deer carcass. Their facial expressions will get grumpier and grumpier until I assume they start yelling slurs at the player. I don't know how games work. Carpentry has been reworked and just about every other task activity or even as you can see idle animation that you can think of from wandering around stretching to curling up because of the freezing cold have been given a plethora of new animations and motion captured rigs. By the way, just to remind you, this is a small, very indie studio RTS slash city builder. This is not a total war game. We're not even close to the budget. Yet this is what we're getting. I love just being able to move through and see everything that's going on. I mean, we can see all the way over there. The bigger your town, obviously, the more impressive this thing looks. I am quite tall, actually, compared to most people. I love how the paths just go through things as well. It, it looks goddamn beautiful. So over here, they're making malt, I think, which is being made into beer in the brewery. Oh, my word, is it starting to snow? Snow is starting to form on the ground. It's coming to winter. Everybody put your clothes on, put your coats on. You're going to get really cold. With tons more stuff to show, I will leave this guy's Twitter down below. Yet, since it's been a while, I thought I'd give you guys another update to see how the development's gone. And actually, as I was making this video, we got the full announcement that it will be coming out in April of 2024. The Steam page, until yesterday, still mentioned a 2023 release date. So I had a whole segment at the end of this video saying, I think it's probably going to be delayed. And it was, but thankfully, with an official release date. So we can get our hands on it then, coming to Xbox. And boy, that trailer is looking so good. If you haven't seen it already, go and check out my video I put up a few days ago, covering and analysing it in its entirety. Because it's finally time. It's finally the lead up to the release of Manor Lords.